Hi guys, welcome to another live stream for Airport CEO. <laughs> One minute late. Yes, yes, yes. Things got a little rough here in the last few minutes. How have you been? <laughs> Excellent, we're live. Okay, let's have a look. Let's quickly have a look around the airport and see what's going on over here. Uh, we've got a few big planes uh, kind of pathing over one another. Uh, <laughs> things are a little weird. Maybe there's a plane stuck over here. We'll see what's going on there. Um, we also have the new drop-off area over here that we've just finished uh, at the end of the last stream. We've got the new baggage claim area. Um, this area here is filled up a, a lot with all the various things that we need. So we've got the garbage facilities, we've got the, um, we've got the, the, the catering, and we've got some of our remote stands still over here. We've got the smaller aircraft over here, plus the remote, the remote stands and the remote drop-off and pickup areas. We, uh, if we go to the next level, we have our plane spotters lounge up here, and it's, uh, its bathroom is pretty busy. <laughs> um, the uh, the store and the cafe, though, not so much. <laughs> We've got a big uh, a big airport. I mean, big staff area over here. We have the new security through here. The new what is going on with this? Let's quickly have a look. Something is not right over here. Not connected, find a path to baggage bay, check on bay belt connections. Okay, well, let's do that. Straight, straight down there, then down here. Ah, something went wrong over here. Okay, let's... Uh, ooh, I quickly want to remember to, in the debug menu, just take off the simulated construction. Let's quickly fix that, that piece over there. Probably just need... Uh, no, they've got some issues over here now. Okay, well, let's uh, get rid of these as well. I think that should do the trick. Now, if we go down one over there and we come back up another right over here. Uh, down one more. There we go. And if we link these together, hopefully that should mean... Um, things would now be working. I think that's the case. Let's have a look. Uh, absolutely, that fixed it. That fixed it. Okay, perfect. Okay, we'll continue on our journey around the new airport pieces. So this is the new check-in area over here. Uh, pretty decent. I want to see about making the best direct connections from the drop-off area to, to the new check-in area. So we might change this up around a little bit. Um, and then this is a pretty skinny terminal as was noted in the last one and we've got a few medium stands along this plus um, it's de-icing, small de-icing, medium de-icing and then a few large stands over here plus it's de-icing over here. Um, we've bought the other two pieces of land over here. And, um, and now we, uh, we should be ready for, for some stuff. We can expand a fair bit of stuff over here, but really uh, the idea is that we start moving our, our runways and we get some good runways in place um, so that we can really expand and get as much um, action out of this airport as possible. Okay, what are we saying over here on the chat? Okay, we need a uh, second runway. Yes, absolutely, that's gonna be the plan. We do, you know, when the plane spotters cafe replay of it uh, on YouTube spelled plane wrong. Yes, I noticed that and I've already fixed it. <laughs> Metro and bus car terminal today, same building. Uh, Metro and bus and car terminal today, same building. Definitely today we need to make the terminal less skinny. Yes. Okay. So we are thinking about in expanding the terminal over here and creating a, a, a nicer arrivals experience. We may actually even get rid of this, but we'll see. Maybe this will be like our pickup uh, or our, our, 
our pickup area for after arrivals and this will be our drop off area into departures or something like that but we will see how we try and deal with that if we quickly go underground we'll have a look at we've got our baggage bays up and running for the most part we've got our big roundabout access situation going on over here we've got our service cars in place we've got a little parking underground parking spot over here plus our fuel um, much closer to the big term uh, the big stands over here so all of that is looking pretty good i also see that in the in the developers blog that's just recently come out yeah we need another runway in the developers blog that just recently came out they've said that there is a brand new big bird in this update and that is the uh the this is the boeing 747 however only one of the the airlines has currently operates the boeing 747 so let's quickly have a look at our off uh, at our accepted contracts and swiftly is the one so we don't currently have um the swiftly airline um contract over here so i think i'm gonna go ahead and sign that contract so we can get the 747 um stuff the 747 yes airlines swiftly um yes there you see it brand new 747 400 is uh, part of the swiftly contract so we will go ahead and sign that so that we can get swiftly to bring that 747 over here yeah well we hope we'll see the a350 as well i don't know if it's uh, i don't think it's in the game just yet but we we hope to see it soon okay so let's see what are we going to do first i'm thinking uh we wanted to do the, the runway but we don't have enough money for the runway just yet uh let me just quickly see what the status of loans and things are i haven't played since the last stream so currently we still have 1.3 million in loan over here no yes no amount or can we take it i don't i don't quite understand something's something is i don't understand one of these things let's quickly have a look and we see here administrative procurement loans yes there's definitely amount that's going off for loans every hour so we still have a fairly large loan amount in place i just want to make sure ah here it is it's now it's updated yeah it's repay so there was a bit of a thing here but anyway so there's still got 1.3 million um in loans that we have to repay so what i'm trying gonna try and do is uh run the airport a little bit at a higher speed so that we can see about getting getting uh, a little bit more money we've got how many long-term versus short-term parking do we have that's long-term that's short-term no so let's uh let's let's make that this is a long-term parking long-term parking long-term okay and we've got two short-term parkings over here so we've got three long terms over there we want to be able to expand this terminal here they also said in the update that they um that they actually did the uh the, the they redid the pathfinding algorithm and things should work much better now so we'll keep an eye on that what's going on here um they should have done the 7478 and the 400 variant as well as we do on an airside plane spotter cafe today uh airside oh you mean okay you mean just like a, a cafe for for the for the guys who's already here waiting for their for their uh, for their flights yeah absolutely we can do we can do a, a cafe and potentially we can do it down here though on the ground is probably not the nicest place for a for a cafe for spotting airlines so we'll uh, we'll have to uh, see what we can do the best we can do i think the question I have is, I wonder whether if we do another cafe somewhere in here, whether that would actually allow, whether that will will give us a little bit more money. We've got the bathrooms in place. Let's I right, quickly I want to have a look and see if we're operating things pretty quickly. So there's a little bit of an issue with turnaround going on. Okay, so let's quickly see this plane. So this is B9 and boarding has been closed for b9 but we're still waiting on a on a turnaround service over here okay so things aren't very effective 
Let's quickly see our staffing levels. Do we have any issues with staffing? Janitors. Oh, suddenly we have ramp agent problems. So let's quickly add a few more ramp agents to the mix. So we can try and sort out some of these issues we are having. Still occupied. Okay, so we still, we're running into a bit of trouble there. Our de-icing is going along nicely over here. Got some big planes arriving. This is the A380. Yes. And how is it going? Oops, that's the wrong direction. It's not, uh, it's starting, it's not started boarding yet. Ooh, these people are hungry. So yes, we definitely need a cafe around here. I think that's something we may want to do. Refueling is actually going quite well. If I just have a look at the plane itself, when is it due to leave? Uh, it's late already. It is late already. Oh, there it goes. So this is not that part. Was it fully boarded? Let's just quickly have a look. So what stand was this? This was stand C2. It's pushing back now. It did in fact board, but didn't have all its passengers there. Uh, oh, it didn't board. Then it's left without boarding at all. That's not good. That's definitely not good. Okay, we'll do a floor. What are you saying? Uh, we should. We could do a floor above the main corridor for departures with quick and easy escalator access. Yes. So, so something a little bit like a like a like a lounge, typically lounge feature or something like that. We could do. We could do that. Um, we could definitely do that. Ooh, that's not good. Let's just quickly see what else is going on over here. So we are having a lot of problems with getting people out on time. Though there's not a lot of delayed flights. They're kind of leaving without being boarded. Um, so that's not good. Definitely not good that that is happening. There we go. Boarding is commencing over there. Even though we're pushing back with only a few people on, on the plane. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to sort out our reduced staffing levels pretty quickly here. Operations, staffing, we're still a little short of, of ramp agents. So let's just add a few more ramp agents to the mix. We'll get these five in there as well. And hopefully we can now, a service vehicle can't reach the designated job site. Let's quickly see where this is occurring. That is... Why can't a service vehicle reach this site? What are, what are they waiting for over here? We're waiting for both fuel and for baggage cars. Where is our, where is our baggage cars? Let's quickly have a look. I haven't seen a baggage car at all. Let's quickly see, just quickly go through that. With the updates that kind of get rolled out every now and again, we sometimes get, get a few issues. So let's quickly see. If we go to vehicles... The icing truck, we have, we could use one more de icing truck. Cabin cleaning vehicles, we don't have them, why not? And then we should have um, baggage trucks. We've got plenty of baggage trucks that aren't claiming jobs. So I wonder whether that is a little something that's wrong at the moment. Let's go down here, see if we can spot one. None of them in there. Let's go over here. No baggage cars parked over there. And then if we go to this guy, there should be baggage trucks that's hanging out over here. So yes, there's plenty of baggage trucks over here. Okay, we need one more de-icing truck. So let's quickly procure that one while we try and sort everything else out. So there's been a few things that's kind of been upset a little bit by this. Okay, there we go. We also need some cabin cleaning trucks so let's get like five of them we for some reason none of them are are showing up so let's get a few of those and then we can move on from there build a second uh, filling station near the small aircraft uh, I've got one over here oh uh, no, no no that's not this one oh I've, I've deleted that one we used to have one around here somewhere okay maybe we just need to add another one Hello, please flick the name of the game on Twitch. It appears as Airport CEO and should be Airport CEO with a space between Airport and CEO so more visitors could find the stream. Okay, I didn't know that was actually a thing. But thank you so much for letting me know. Let me 
Let me try that um, right now. Um, we'll do that. Oh, I see. And we can update the information. So hopefully that means that now it should be updated. Yeah, I think it should be sorted out now. Maybe more people will find it now. That would be good if, if that happens. There's still a contract in place over here and so on. I just need to get see what's going on with the baggage. There's definitely an issue with baggage. What I'll do is I'll quickly switch off the... the ah, baggage handling services has been switched off. I don't know. That must have been something that's occurred between... between with the update. It kind of automatically did that. So we will keep a close eye. Hopefully it'll sort itself out now. A little bit worried about these clashes of planes on top of one another here. <laughs> okay, we are making a bit of money, so that's pretty good. Excellent. Okay, let's uh, let's find a spot with this new money that we've got. Let's find a spot for a little airside, um, a little airside cafe. We'll use this area right over here for an escalator to go up. This area right here will go up there, and um, and then we'll have to do a little bit of a, a smaller little area up here. So let's go up another level. We'll see about getting a little bit of a terminal section in here, right there. Uh, okay, build a lounge for the first class passengers. We don't have lounges, I think. What? Hang on, let's, let me quickly have a look. I don't think we have lounges. If you go at all the stuff that you can do, you can't actually designate a lounge. That's a, more of a sim airport thing. So if we look at the various types of zones we can create, lounges is not one of them. We can do bathrooms and shops and cafes. Or food room which is an interesting interesting one we can do gate seating and all these kind of things uh, we obviously can create a staff zone and a staff room but we cannot do a lounge oh here's all of them so secure area staff zone bathroom staff room food room shop room uh, domestic baggage claim area and that's it so no lounges for us a luxury cafe, fair enough, we can do that. We can definitely do a luxury cafe. Okay, let's get ourselves um, an escalator. Uh, okay, we need to make sure that this area is secure as well. So let's secure this area right here. And then we should be able to do the escalator Kind of right over there to go upstairs we are a lot of passengers are being shown away at the moment so there we go so now we've got a got an area here that we can designate as a bit of a lounge slash cafe area uh, we obviously need some windows and stuff for that but i am overly worried that we are not boarding any passengers anymore so we've still got a nightmare going on at the moment Okay, let's pause the game just for a second. Let's quickly go back through what's going on with our vehicles. Apparently, we have all the vehicles that we need. So that is a little weird. Okay, and then if we go to staff, we are still short on the ramp agents. We're still short on janitors. So let's quickly grab both of those. Ramp agents and janitors over here. We'll just grab all five of them. Um... What's going on with a lot of stuck planes at the moment is what I'm seeing. Let's quickly see. Ooh, a lot of stuff happening here. Yeah, we definitely need, we definitely need some help. Can we quickly unoccupy any aircraft? No, reset aircraft paths. Thank you. Okay, now hopefully we can... Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> um, there's a little bit of a mess of aircraft right over there. <laughs> okay. Definitely that next airport, uh, that next runway is, is important for us at the moment. And I think we have enough money to go ahead and, and build it. Uh, let me... Let's see. I think we're going to get all of them out of here now. So hopefully that means that we're going to be back to normal soon. Yes, I think, I think that's going to be fine. That's a little weird, but hopefully that was the last one. 
and hopefully now it will act uh, a little bit more normal. I'm also pretty keen to see if we can get um, some of these sorted out. There's some massive delays over here. Hopefully we'll get them all out and things will kind of resolve itself a little bit. Uh, I think it's starting to look a little bit better but we do need I think we do need a little bit more in terms of the vehicles yeah jet jet fuel air side shuttle probably yeah jet a1 fuel definitely um, the icing truck should be fine there is an extra one by the way uh, aircraft cabin catering should be okay yes I am uh, I'm moving to Australia so in a in a couple of weeks actually less than a couple of weeks i will be moving to australia so this will be the last stream until i get to australia so mid-december is when the next stream will be uh, i will definitely have to have a look at what the streaming time sh is going to be i'm not sure i'm going to be able to maintain the same one uh, but I'll, I'll see what we'll what, what we can what we can find that works the discord will also be something that I'll be working on um, over the next few days while I'm uh, while I'm kind of packing up for Australia and and so hopefully that means that uh, we can have a, a good discussion around around what what we're doing and what what the best time should be and so on let's get a few more ramp agents in place and I want to grab a few more vehicles. So let's quickly go here to the procurement piece. Um, I'm kind of tempted to do a few of the smaller trucks as well. I've no, I have the bigger ones, but I want to grab a few of the smaller jet A fuels as well. Maybe like two or three of them. Uh, but actually, yeah, let's do two two of those and see see what whether that does anything to help us out. Uh, any, anything, any other vehicles that had issues? Airside shuttle bus, but there is one available. I might get one extra one. There are five of them, so maybe I'll leave that in there for now. There's more vehicles. That, okay, what's going on? Do we not have enough fuel? Let's quickly go and see what's going on over here. Yes, we're out of fuel, so please let's just request extra fuel. Um, and then I th maybe we should go ahead and get another fueling station somewhere, but we don't really have the room unless we do it over here. So let's grab ourselves another one right over here. So let's get the Jet A1. No, not the tank. Instead, we want this one. Um, and I'm probably going to set it back a little bit like that as well. Actually, we can now nah, let's. Yeah, yeah, we can do it over here. That's going to be that's going to be better. So we'll slot it in there. We'll get it a little bit of um, of a service road going on, like that and like that. We'll make that one way, of course. And I need to put the concrete in there. So we'll do that, and we will go ahead and grab ourselves some of this concrete for underneath. Excellent. Ooh, that's a little bit too much doesn't really matter but we'll do that um, so hopefully we can get that sorted out we'll request fuel over here as well there is a contract in place absolutely so maybe what we should do is we should get some extra fuel tanks over here uh, to, 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 um, let's quickly just get that finished I just want to make sure that our operation is not uh, not in trouble so let's um, Let's squeeze in a few things like this. If we do, I'm not sure that's going to work. So let's do that and that and that. Hopefully that helps us out a little bit. I'm also going to do a similar thing. I'm not sure that's going to work. Maybe that's, we should rather do it that way. Hopefully that kind of works. Yes, that works and this works as well we just need to get fuel delivered asap what's going on upstairs are we seeing fuel trucks coming in yes so here comes the fuel trucks and there's a massive issue over here as well let me quickly change things up over here also i'm thinking with the new repathing stuff that's gone on here 
there may be some issues. So let's just get... Oh, this is where all of my trucks are stuck. <laughs> okay, hopefully we can sort that out. Let me quickly just uh, unoccupy all the road nodes and get these guys out of the way. Uh -huh. Okay, there's been a massive issue over here. Luckily we found that. I think I should add a little bit more room over here. Try and fix that a little bit. My goodness. Okay, I think we're slowly clearing all of that out. Okay, maybe we fix the problem now. I'm going to try and not reload the game this time. And I think we may have sorted it out. We just need... For some reason, everything that's come in here has just got stuck there for a minute or two. Um, so hopefully, as soon as we clear this backlog, which is still a little slow, everything should now be fine. And I think it's going to be fine now. Excellent. Excellent. Do we have fuel in here? Not yet. Do we have fuel here? We have some fuel here. And this one is also some kind of an issue. Why is this guy waiting... Why is this guy waiting over there? Is there a problem? Why is this guy stuck there also? I don't know. This one-way stuff doesn't seem to be working very well at the moment. So let's quickly uh, kind of fix that a little bit. If we do something like that, does that help us out at all? If we take out... Let's just take out the one-way stuff. Let's remove that and see, get rid of that. See if that's better. Uh, similarly, we'll just do the same here just to get, get rid of that before it becomes a problem. Um, service road. Interesting how uh, as the updates happen, there's some issues that we always have to end up um, dealing with. Hopefully we'll get some fuel here, so please let's request fuel. But I think things are looking a little bit better. How's this going? There's still uh, That is looking much better. Here is, there's still a few delays going on. I think we're going to sort it out. I think this is going to this is going to help now. So yes, I think that new that new pathfinding algorithm messed us up a little bit, but I also think that it is now all clear apart from these planes yet again. That's an issue. Okay, we need to. We've got enough money now. We'll build that second runway, and we'll give ourselves much more room for everything. So we set the aircraft paths and get that sorted. Okay, what I'm going to do is. The game is always broken when you're streaming. And you don't know why? Yes, uh, the game does tend to, to have a little bit of an issue. Because um, because it's still an experimental branch. That is, And they're constantly making changes. So if you're not restarting a game and you're playing an older game, then that's typically a bit of a problem. Okay, so if we look at a large uh, runway. This is the large one, right? The large runway. I'm tempted to move it all the way up over here um, and then I want to do another one that's gonna run over here and then we'll move the icing over here also so we'll 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 do we'll do do it like this we'll do it at the takeoff um, this way put the runway close to the current one but I'm going to get rid of this current runway because there's, I don't have enough room here. So I'm going to want to, I'm, I want to move this runway up. So I, I can actually use more of the space over here for terminal expansion and things like that. So let's, let's quickly have a look. So if we say I want to maintain kind of a, a one way, a little bit of a one way approach. So what I'll do actually is I will do... Um, the big the big one big runway over here and then we'll remove this one so that there's a little bit more room room to go to this one make them both south to north i i don't think i've got got the room for two south to north runways the way the terminal is laid out is not going to make going to going to help us with that uh, and leave it only for departures and then arrivals come from somewhere else okay that could that could work 
that could work that's an interesting concept so then what we'll do is we'll have a, a arrival runway on the one side and a departure runway on the other side so then we'll do a little something like that for departures and then for arrivals we're gonna have to slot it in this way and have them run all the way through here I'm just a little worried that ours, we're not going to have a lot of space for that. Uh, we may have to rejig some of these things over here.